Hi, my name is Corey. I am from Omaha North. And I'm a senior. This is my conflicting walk through the forest. Lonely. I walk through the forest. The leaves change color, bright yellows and deep reds. I come to the cliff side that overlooks the city center miles away. As I approach the bench that overlooks wet with the week long rain that doused the leaves with a coating of moisture, I think about how the forest calms me. The birds flying from tree to tree, singing in synchronized calamity, telling me that I am okay, that I am, however briefly safe. You see, I prepared for the dance. I dressed in a suit. I paid for tickets for two, but I will go as one because I am a monster. I reach the vantage point and with a sudden and vengeful urge, I scream, are you happy with me? And the wind picks up as if to respond, drowning out my sorrow. But what it said back was a mystery. It rushed around, whistling through the pines like a waterfall knocking soaked leaves off the trees. Because I, was per because I dreamed, I was deafened by my thoughts, I thought nothing of the natural world, just the feeling of betrayal. A person who has not met me has burdened my shoulders forever, so I sit on this wet bench, and that frosted wind blows down into the city, bringing upon it the sheets of cold that entered me as sweltering words just two days before. I'm hunting my prey. Well, that's what he says. Because people like me do whatever they please, always getting away with it. Because it's true that I will rape women, it is a fact that I will touch children. People like me think only dirty thoughts, always getting away with it. Call me what you want, but your words are glue. You don't know what you did. You don't have a clue of the feelings that I have when I think I am through with life. Unsatisfied, paralyzed by my worthless fears as I prepare to leap from this bench and tumble down the slide, landing on the concrete beneath. I'm so close to ending it, but I am too scared to even get up. From this bench, the chill on my back is not as uncomfortable as a prison of my mind. Synchronized calamity is what I feel. It's more than just the bird singing, because her father gets to say that I am something which I could not imagine myself to be, all because I like My Little Pony.